Well, hello and welcome to everybody who's tuning in from around the world. I'm sure that you can sense a very different feeling in atmosphere and ambience around the ground, certainly by comparison with what we've seen before in this year's competition. Gone now are second chances, points and tables, that sort of thing confined to the group stage. From this point on, nothing other than a win suffices. The move here is expectant and nervous. This, of course, one of the most recognisable venues in the Netherlands, perhaps the whole of the continent. It is the Johan Cruyff Arena. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Germany. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. Well, this is a noisier occasion all round. Everybody, Jim, knows what's at stake here. You know, Peter, it's the suddenness that I love when you get to this phase of the competition. The suddenness in which you can find yourself in a good position or the suddenness in which you can, it can go against you. That introduces drama, which creates great excitement. And ultimately, you get a much more entertaining show. Gets things running. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. He's just about unbeatable in every department, Peter. He's strong, he's quick. Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Gundawan. Gundawan is fouled. again this and the finish forward it goes it's coming on the right now what's on Chan gets into the right position to intercept and it's Ake he's left his man Ake Ake with the cross. It's always going to be the keepers. Gnabry. Just brushed off the ball there. Germany are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Uh, it's not movement for the sake of it. Um, yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Referee's awarded a free kick. Battles to win it back. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? He's got away. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. And it's played forward. He ran 
himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. And the beak. Oh, he's made sure that that won't get through. And it's Gnabry. And it's got through. Gnabry. And he's cut it out. Memphis to Pai. Fry plays it forward. Chan tries to get it forward quickly. Germany clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Predictability has just crept into their play. He's got options out wide. Now the counter. Great run this, it's covered quite a distance. Small kick. Good one. Fine, Aldo. Neuer sends that a long way. Van der Beek gets it back. Good one. Brandt. Brandt gets away from his opponent. Has a goal! And the first 45 minutes are up. Both, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So, views on the first half. Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Two goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Already up and running for the second half. The Netherlands can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pick-up in this second half. No guts. No Van der Beek! Oh, that's a waste. Something happened by himself, lovely to see. Rudiger has got himself a free kick. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. Fair enough. And here's Canabri. And here's Kroos, got a shot away! Frank drives it forward. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Good one. Brandt, and here's Kroos, loose. Gets it back. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. There 
actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. Oh. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. And it's Chan. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Germany clearly seem to have lost their passing accuracy, something they're obviously going to have to fix pretty quickly now. Germany have a free kick. Showing a good level of intensity at this stage, they're calling on all their resources now. Oh no, that's not the ball he wanted. Van Dijk out muscles him. He's on his way. Gnabry proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. So sit forward. Germany merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Kroos. It's Kroos! Tony Kroos usually is so good from that range, he didn't quite connect as he can, though. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. It's found its way to him. He goes for goal! Lovely idea, just did It is going to need 30 more minutes, no winner after 90. Well, nil-nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. The game's been... I think the atmosphere is remain buoyant, but we just need the scoreline to, to step into line. And fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. The hostilities have already resumed. Memphis to Pie. that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Rudiger cuts it out. And it's Tony Kroos. Looking to Kroos for goal! Had everyone off their seats. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. Burkhouse. Van der Beek. Out to the left it goes. Gets the power of his man. It's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. He's brushed off the ball there. No question, that's a foul. And that looks like a final warning. Still no card. for the first half of extra time. We started to feel as though there is an inevitability about penalties here. We like to think that both teams still want to win it in the final 15 minutes. The question is, can the players go that far? And if you're just back, the action is back on the way. It's been cagey for this long. 
Will the last 15 minutes be any different? Rudiger positions himself well and cuts it out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Berghaus. Attempts to play it through. Berghaus. And they've been caught out here. Tony Kroos. Ta. Gundogan. Gundogan drives it forward. Back into the shoots. Oh, yes, it's there. Save the best for last. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. <laughs> Germany take what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, look, Peter, I feel I've got to stress that there's still time for another, so we can't be too presumptuous yet. Done very well to intervene. Yeah, it's it. That's it. They are out. Well, that is the reality of knockout football. One slip and you're gone, and they are gone. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? It's actually difficult, Peter, to detect.